Hey everybody, <clears throat> uh, I am Erin Gall from Equine Detailing. I am a professional equine body clipper and a wall brand ambassador. And I am here today with my buddy Gooch at Kilkern Farm in Millis, Massachusetts to discuss some winter coat care basics. Um, so first of all, if you're noticing any major changes in your horse's uh, skin or coat, then you're gonna wanna consult with your veterinarian just to make sure that there's no underlying issues. Um, from there, I like to uh, keep in mind four things. I want to keep my horse clipped, clean, dry, and warm to make sure that I don't develop any skin issues uh, throughout the winter season. Um, so for clipping, I like to use my Wall KN10 clippers. Uh, these have the number 10 Ultimate Compass Tissue Series blades on them. Um, and I do most of my body clipping with that. And then in my back pocket, I've always got a set of trimmers for any cleanup or touch-ups that I need to do. Deciding which kind of clip that you wanna do um, really depends on a number of factors. So how sweaty is your horse getting during work? Um, how much time is your horse spending outside? And what is the weather like out there? Um, you want to consider how long it's taking to dry your horse after work. Uh, and also, are there any skin issues developing on your horse already? So once we've taken all those things into consideration, we can decide what to do. Gooch here wears a blanket clip uh, with part of his head and his legs clipped off. Um, you can do something as small as a bib clip, a full body clip, whatever seems to make the most sense for your horse. So now we have our horse clipped and we need to um, get our horse clean. So we're gonna use um, clean brushes. Wall makes a great set of brushes. These are fantastic for those of us with tiny hands. Um, one of the things that I may change from summer to winter is my curry comb. So this curry you can see has super long teeth on it and it's really flexible. Um, so I like this one because I can go through the thicker hair um, on a thicker coat, but it's also soft enough that I can curry their face and their legs. Cause I wanna make sure that I'm currying down to the skin when I'm currying. Uh, so after that, um, if you have it available, vacuums are a lifesaver in the wintertime especially. After all that curing, we take this vacuum and I can just suck the uh, dust and dander right off of the skin. One of the great things about having a clipped horse when you're trying to keep your horse clean is that you can also do a hot towel. So for a hot towel, I just take a small tap bucket, um, fill it with super hot water, as hot as your hand can stand. Each thinks there's food in there. Um, and my washcloth. And then I go ahead and dip the washcloth in there and then I give them a nice scrub. And I don't put any product in what I'm doing around his eyes. Just a nice towel, making sure that I really rinsed as much of the water out as possible so I don't actually get him wet, it's just slightly damp. Um, once I've done his face, I can go ahead and put some product in if I'd like to. So two different products that I like to use for that. This uh, Equiderma Skin Lotion is great. Um, it's is super for any kind of skin issues. I use it on the bone of the tail if stuff is uh, starting to build up there in an itchy way. Cannon bone crud, if you're developing rain rot or really any skin issue, uh, that stuff is pretty great for. But you can also use it in a hot towel by putting some right into the uh, hot water and giving your whole horse a scrub with it. And when I'm scrubbing with a hot towel, I really wanna make sure that I'm focusing on areas that are gonna get sweaty. Um, while well, he's working, so I'm really cleaning the saddle area where his bridle goes, uh, up between his hind legs, as well as under his tail. Those are spots that are a little difficult to clean. Um, if you're going for some extra shine, this Equifuse shine spray is fantastic. I can stick my towel into the bucket and then spray this right onto my towel and wipe him down with this. Um, it smells very chewy. All right, so now we have a clipped and we have a clean horse and now we need to make sure that we're keeping our horse dry. So I'm never gonna bring Gooch in and put him away wet. Um, after work, when his skin is still damp, uh, I'm gonna make sure that he is completely dry before his blankets go back in, on and he goes back in a stall. Same thing if he comes in from turnout and he's at all damp from turnout, I'm gonna make sure I have an extra set of blankets so I can switch them out into dry ones. Uh, you absolutely will develop skin issues if you're putting your horse away wet. For those of you that have feathered horses, a blow dryer is a great thing to have, especially in the winter when the horses are coming in wet, you can blow dry their legs, making sure that you're getting dry all the way to the skin. Uh, and then we need to keep Gooch warm. So as you can see, I pulled him out of his stall for grooming and I threw a cooler over his back. 
uh, to make sure that he stays nice and toasty. So what I do then is when I'm ready to groom, I'm gonna go ahead and fold my cooler back halfway, and I'm gonna go ahead and groom the front half of them. When I'm finished, I pull that cooler forward, fold it forward, and I groom the back half of them. Because I'm moving a wool blanket around, um, I'm bound to develop um, some static electricity. So this product is super Aquanature No Shock. I can spray the horse or the blanket with this and it really helps to guard against static electricity. Um, and then for keeping our horses warm, we always obviously wanna have the appropriate blankets on them. Um, consider the clip that he has and the weather outside. Um, and make sure that your blankets are well-fitting. An ill-fitting blanket will definitely rub your horse's coat and will likely um, damage the skin as well if it's left on long enough. Okay, those are our basics, and uh, I would love to hear any tips or tricks that you guys have. So you can search for me on both Instagram and Facebook uh, at Equine Detailing, and uh, let me know some great ideas. I love trying new things. Um, and make sure, of course, that you subscribe to The Wall Blog. All right, thanks guys.